Percentage yield is used to calculate the percentage of product formed from reactions. Reactions rarely have 100% percentage yield. We use percentage yield calculations with atom economy to work out if a reaction would be suitable. A high percentage yield is favourable, but if it has a low atom economy, then the reaction would be wasteful. Equally, if we have a high atom economy but a low percentage yield, it's unlikely to be profitable. This video focuses on calculating percentage yield using mass and proportion. If you would rather use moles, that's also possible and I've made another video looking at that method. This equation can be found in the front of your data book. We'll start by looking at an example. This example produced 10.2 grams of 1,2-dibromopropane from 2.6 grams of propene. To use the mass method, we start off with our actual mass. which was 10.2 grams. We then need to look at the theoretical mass that we should have produced. To do this, we look at the mole ratio. So one mole of propane should produce one mole of 1,2-dibromopropane. That means that 42 grams, the gram formula mass of propane, should produce 201.8 grams of 1,2-dibromopropane. That is the gram formula mass for each of those. Taking this down to 1 gram, we would have 201.8 divided by 42. And then taking it back to the 2.6 grams that was used, we would have 201.8 divided by 42 multiplied by 2.6. That gives you an actual, a, a theoretical mass of 12.49 grams. If we put these into the percentage yield equation, we would have 10.2 divided by 12.49, all multiplied by 100, to give you a percentage yield of 81%. Pause the video now and try these examples. In this first example, the actual mass of ammonia that is produced is 3 kilograms. We now need to look at the theoretical mass that should have been produced had the reaction been 100% successful. We start with the mole ratio, so one mole of nitrogen should produce two moles of ammonia. This means that 28 grams of nitrogen would give you 17 times 2, 34 grams of ammonia. Equally, that means 28 kilograms would give you 34 kilograms of ammonia. One kilogram would give you 34 divided by 28. And five kilograms would give you 34 divided by 28 multiplied by five which is, is 6.07 kilograms. This would be your theoretical mass that we put into the equation. So we have three kilograms divided by 6.07, all times 100, to give you a percentage yield of 49%. In the second example, we have 50 grams of ethylethanoate as the actual mass produced and now we need to look at the theoretical mass. So one mole of ethanol would produce one mole of ethyl ethanoate. So that is 46 grams would give you 88 grams. In this reaction we are already using a whole mole of ethanol, so 46 grams. So that means that your theoretical mass is 88 grams. Putting those numbers into the equation, we have 50 divided by 88, all times 100, to give you a percentage yield of 57%. I hope that you find this video on percentage yield useful. If you would like to look at the method involving moles, I've made another video that you can watch. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at MissAdamsChem for regular updates on new videos.